It's the proposed $15 billion merger that could have a big impact on your phone and internet bills, but it might not be a positive one. TPG and Vodafone want to merge to take on the market leaders. Some analysts are worried it could mean less competition and higher prices for customers. The amount people spend on data is at the centre of this telco mega merger. And the man who is likely to be the boss wants to take the fight up to Telstra and Optus. It's in our DNA of both companies to continue this, this uh, challenging uh, offering in the market and giving more value to our customers. So, you know, I think that this is really good news for Australian market. Both companies are present in mobile and broadband, but Vodafone's big in one and TPG the other. Vodafone is the number three player in mobile with 19% market share, while TPG is number two in fixed line internet and phone with around 22%. TPG always had a strategy of acquiring and aggressively discounting to push into uh, new markets and tap into um, consumer bases effectively. TPG has grown into a sizeable telco by spending the last decade gobbling up smaller entities, acquiring broadband networks, infrastructure firms, cloud computing. And three years ago, it bought IINet, paying $1.4 billion for the service provider. The merger might not be immediately obvious to customers. Both the Vodafone and TPG brands are here to stay, at least for now. But you might notice the next time you go to pick up a phone from Vodafone that they also offer you a TPG broadband contract. TPG was aggressively pushing into mobile and the competition watchdog will closely examine whether this merger is good for consumers. Having four players in a market can often be better than three. Having a new entrant desperate to gain share, can offer better deals to consumers. So there's very much a, a process and a balancing to be weighed up here. The ACCC expects to make a decision within 12 weeks. Carrington Clark, ABC News.